Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another Season 10 Educational Riven Gameplay Guide guys. Today I want to talk a little bit more about a Riven setup which nobody is really using at all except for like a few people. Which actually makes matchups like the Renekton matchup for example, the one we're up against right now, uh, makes a lot easier. So um, with that being said guys. We're currently playing with Conqueror into Resolve on the secondary, taking the Shield Bash with Bone Plating. Now, this setup is actually pretty overpowered against Renekton because it makes the first trade with Renekton a lot easier. And it also, like, it tanks up a lot more. And you also get to um, trade better because your Shield Bash does damage, right? So we currently have Bone Plating up right now. He still hasn't got it from us yet. So now we can actually trade him already. There we go. Just doing like a quick trade and then just backing off. This is a pretty fine trade for us because uh, we actually have three potions instead of uh, one like this Rennington does. So we can sustain that back pretty easily. Now as for the bonus, uh, like the, 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 the stats, uh, I've actually gone two armor with one AD. And that's something that you could take into matchups like Rennington, which like, like the really hard matchups I guess. You could go like 2 armor and 1 AD to make the matchup a whole lot easier. So all of this combined with like shield bash, bone plating, like 2 armor points. It's gonna make this lane dramatically easier. Right here we get like a full trade on this guy. We're about to actually get a free kill right here. Oh, whoops, I've accidentally messed up. That was my mistake. Okay. I don't want to tank it. Nice. So, as you guys can see, like, Renekton has a lot of damage early on, right? But since we are playing with Shield Bash and playing with Bone Plating, um, plus, like, the two armor points, together with, like, three potions for lots of sustain, we can actually fight Renekton pretty easily in the early game. And uh, let me quickly buy an item here. I'm just gonna sell the potion and just get this one this one and this one. There we go Like uh, one of the main reasons why Renekton matchup is really hard is because people most Riven players are playing with the wrong runes and You know, it's perfectly fine to go conquer with Inspiration taking like free boots with five and CDR. There's nothing wrong with that guys honestly, but most Riven players most players, especially in low to mid elo, talking about like platinum, uh, even low diamond, people don't know how to play with inspiration because most people go inspiration, they don't even know that you, the opponent is playing with bone plating and they're just like trading at random times when their bone plating is up, right? If you're going to play with inspiration, you have to play around the bone plating of your opponent, otherwise, it's going to be really difficult, guys. So if you don't know how to do it properly, just go bone plating in your own runes and you'll be fine anytime. Nice try. His Ash is down. He actually got the bone plating on us, but it's fine. We can just train right here. His stun is down at the moment as well. So if he actually comes in right now, we could actually go for like it all in. But yes, guys, it's extremely important to play with the proper runes against your opponent. It can make your lane so much easier, guys. It's gonna make things so much easier stunned honor the tower nice try I still have one potion left we'll fight him now if he comes close we can go for your land there we go like that's the kind of opportunities you want to be looking for if you're playing against Renekton if Rennington, his bar is on white, uh, he doesn't really do that much damage with his abilities. And that's like an opportunity to go for like an all-in. Also, if Rennington does not have his E up, that's also like another opportunity to go for the all-in. And if his stun is on cooldown, that's also another opportunity. You kind of want to be looking into those opportunities when playing against Rennington. So let's go back here again. This time we're going to finish off this. And I'm also going to buy one longsword and a ruby crystal. 
Good. Now, as for the summoner spells, I really like to go with Ignite in the early game against Renek 10, like a lot, because Ignite allows you once again to have like a pretty strong level 1 to 3, especially with the setup. But if you want to go more advanced, you could also go for Teleport, because, you know, Teleport is overall a lot better mid late game. But just for the early game, I would recommend you guys for going Ignite if you want to have like a really, really aggressive early game. There are currently no wards, but there is this guy. Right here. Uh, I can just get out safely. I can fight him. That's why the fast Q matters, guys. If I could not pull off that fast Q right now, if I happen to be a bad Riven player, he would have killed us. This is like a perfect example of the reason why you should be mastering your fast Q. Because in times like this one, where it truly matters, <laughs> you will... You will regret this. Like, you will regret not being able to pull it off. Okay, let's push it out all the way. And then we'll make our way back. Put, like, more items. Nice. Perfect. Now we can make our way back. So now we can get the Kindle Gem and get the 20% CDR. Uh, we can also buy more health. Like this. The matchup is going to be become really easy right now since we've already killed like Renekton twice. As long as we make the right moves against him, we should be able to win uh, from now. The thing is, Renekton does not outscale Riven at all mid, mid late game. So, even if you're having like a really, really bad time against him, you can just farm up, wait for mid game, and then snowball on him. That's pretty much how the matchup works. So long as you don't like make a mistake. There are, oh, there's like a ward there. I'm just gonna push it out real quick, get the ward, and then uh, reset again. Get that ward now. Battle 6 is currently in mid lane right now. That's really good to know. Nice. I can fight him right now. First, we're gonna have to proc his bone plating, guys. Proccing the bone plating is super, pretty important. Ah, the stun took a little bit too long, but we can dive in, no problem. Oh, I've accidentally cancelled my auto attack. We could have had him right there. I cancelled it on accident. Uh, we can kill him. One double cast is enough before he responds. Yeah, he knows. He doesn't want to risk it. Because one double cast is enough for me. Let's go back real quick. So you, you can die for Rennington pretty easily, but <laughs> if you cancel like one auto in a time like this one, it's not going to work. Okay, let's quickly buy like another ward and now we're going to make... Now we're going to go top. Uh... As for the four runes, as well as the full build, you can all find it in the description. So I recommend you guys to check out the description. Also, just a quick announcement for the people that don't know. If you guys want to send like a private message to me, if you got, if you want to say anything like at all, or you have like a question or whatever, um, there's like a new option right now. I've just made a new Instagram account about a week ago from now, which I'm going to leave in the description. If you guys want to follow it and you guys collect any kind of questions or you want to know about my real life and stuff, don't forget to follow my Instagram, guys. I'll leave it in the comment section as well. Alright. Now we can uh, start fighting this guy. I'll have my Black Lever very soon. It's going to make things a lot easier, too. There are no wards. That's pretty good to know.
Yeah, because Fiddlestick is there. I know. I think that was pretty obvious. So with Fiddle Fiddlesticks being top lane, there's not much we can do right now besides just waiting. We cannot do much. We're just gonna have to wait. Fiddlesticks might still be topside, so I don't want to risk it too much. Okay, it's on the red bar at the moment, but we can still trade him with like a third Q if we want to. I'm not gonna go with that seal. I'm I'm actually like really scared of Fiddlesticks at the moment. I don't want this guy to be jumping on us. We'll just be relaxing like this. Nice, that's the the Q. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, like that was the uh, the stun. That was a perfect opportunity for us to jump in there, but it was also pretty easy for him to jump out. So we are now with the like old. Push another way. We will now have the black lever. Okay, let's go back real quick. Nice. So now we got the black lever. That's gonna make things a lot easier for us. Quickly turn off the sound of something here. There we go. All right, so we're just going to be farming for now until we finally get the opportunities. Like, if Rennington plays insanely safe, right, we might not be able to get any kills on Rennington anymore because, like, Rennington is pretty hard to dive. It's possible, but we have to get him low first. If we don't get to kill Rennington, it's still going to be fine because we currently have the lane priority all over Rennington. Which then again allows us to be able to roam down different lanes, which is really important. Being able to roam is very, very important. That's nice, for getting platings. We're currently one level ahead of this guy already, like that one entire level, which is pretty big actually. Okay, that's the stun. Let's see if we can make him uh, use his jump. Okay, that's fine. There are no wards here, I think. Well, that, that thing actually gives three gold. That surprised me. I don't want Rennington to be placing down a ward right there. Okay, he still gets to hit that stun on us, which surprises me. We can fight him pretty easily right now. Like, if Reddington doesn't get to kill us at all in the laning phase, if he actually falls behind through this, then he will never make a comeback because Riven... Like, he's still losing because Riven outskills Reddington mid-game. So even if he doesn't get to win, we're still winning. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter too much. Yeah, I'm not going to give you that opportunity, just so you know. Wow. Really? One HP. One. And he's getting away with that. He's getting away with this, guys. Huh. Okay. If we actually had that kill on Rennington, uh, our triumph would activate, so we would get back at least uh, like 100 HP, maybe a bit more. And with that HP, we could have actually easily 1v1 that Zoe as well, so... That pretty much came down to just being very, very unlucky. Which surprises me. Okay, let's quickly go down bot lane. 
We could try to catch that Jenna and Draven. Like, I actually got my ultimate back in uh, 13 seconds from now. Which should allow us to get free kills here. Like this one. I'll just be waiting here. There we go. Like, if Riven gets the flash up, you can actually um, kill a support pretty easily with just a single combo. So it was just a mess. Like, e even if they happen to go back, right? Even if they happen to go back, I, I would just wait for my flash and then just go in there and get like two kills for free. It's a pretty good way to uh, to get kills after the laning phase has been done. Now I can force this tower. We do have to be a little bit careful though that uh, people are not coming bot lane. If I get catch right now, that would be pretty bad for me. So I'm just gonna go back here, not too far, but just far enough so uh, we can actually pull off something here. I'll just be charging my Qs all day and wait for somebody to come because like people This is very very tempting for people When they see this farm they want to get that farm That's the way how it usually goes Really? All right, like I like I said guys There is always somebody willing to take the farm. There's always somebody And let's be real honest <laughs> I don't think anyone can deny it <laughs> If you see farm in the bot lane People will take that farm. They will do whatever it takes to get that farm Whether it's like the AD carry or the top laner, there's always somebody split pushing. Okay, now we can actually get that tower and then make our way back with lo like lots of gold. Nice. Now I can get my dead stance, which is going to make me pretty, pretty strong right now. Nice. I'm um, gonna buy a ward for me as well. So, currently there isn't really much to do on the map, right? There isn't really much to do at all. Every lane is being pushed in, so... What we are gonna do... I'm gonna, t I'm gonna be taking every single camp you can. Farm out the entire jungle. And then by the time, there will be people pushing down lanes and... Um... As soon as we take everything, we we will be moving to a lane. We just been pushed in, take all the farm there as well, and like make a big lead over them. We are currently one to maybe two levels ahead of Rennington. Pretty close. Rennington is currently pushing down bot lane, which is pretty good. We can take that farm. All this time we've been spending to get farm, so. Draven actually getting kills. Alright, my team is messing up there. Okay, we will have to take the dragon soon. I will have to go top lane right now. Okay. Let's move top lane. We're going to be killing the Draven in with a single shot, I think. Oh, whoops. My E was just like a second to uh, too late. Mm. I accidentally messed up with my A before because it wasn't up yet. I need to wait for my uh, for my flash. Like the timing on my Q. The timing on my Q was really bad. And the way how they were positioned. So I had to try and make make a play with my E. But my E was just tiny to lay. Like 
like half a second maybe at most. They will be grouping mid lane. Let's see if we can actually get some kills here. Alright, my team is making a lot of mistakes. Wow, I could I could have saved there if I'd gone earlier into that direction. My teammates are making a, a lot of mistakes right now. They're not giving me the space that I need to carry this. I'm just going to keep it farming out. I'm going to use my time wisely like before my team is up. Okay. Now we can fight them. Let's see if they pass in one of the, the bushes here. What? I've made the biggest positioning play ever? I've hit all five of the team. And in such a good way. But all of them were alive with... Ah, oh, with 50 HP. Really? All of them? That was... <laughs> such a good play. But I didn't get rewarded with anything. Ah, that's unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. Alright. So, my team is currently having a really hard time. But... We have to do something to turn this game right now because it's not going very well with my team at the moment. So, in games like this one, I will most often like buy it a tier map and then make a really huge play in a team fight so we can turn it. So that's going to be your plan right now. I'm going to be using the tier map. I'm going to buy the tier map and then make like a huge play. That's going to be the plan right now. Usually I go into Last Whisper, but this game in specific, uh, it's not. It's just not going well for my teammates at the moment. Wow. This is crazy. Wow. What is going on this game with all the CC? There's so much CC. Okay, I'm going crazy with the CC here. That's too much. They dropped everything on us. They literally dropped every single CC that they had on me in specific. Alright. We lost the tower here. Okay. Don't worry about it though. We could go for Mercs, but I don't want to go Mercs this game. Because this is not going to happen every single time. They're not going to drop all the CC on me every single time. That's very unlikely. It was just like in a moment like this one. If my team groups up soon, I can make my time to go in and like have them will drop their CC. Nice. The tower is being pushed in. The dragon will spawn in 20. So they will have to make a choice right now whether they go for Baron or the dragon. Yeah, we got him. Go for the dragon. I'm gonna catch this Draven so I can get his gold. Really? Okay, somebody's gonna pass here. That's unfortunate. This is not working. We're not doing any damage. We don't have we don't have the AD carry with us. This is not working. Stop doing it, dude. Stop doing it. 
There's no point. I sp I pinked. I pinked my team to go dragon, but they pointlessly did the Baron and dragon is stolen. What? I pinked them to do it. Okay, that was such a ridiculous play. That was so bad to watch. <laughs> I honestly don't know what I was watching there. That was terrible. Alright, whatever. I need this Yumi to sit with me. Oh, they actually got every single camp, I think. Yeah. They got every single one of them. Okay, here we go. We're, we're about to make a huge play soon. Okay. That's the ultimate of Janna, so we can actually start fighting now. Okay. Two of them are gone. Nice. Thank you. Alright, my team's doing progress. My team is doing work. I did like a huge play in that team fight and my team followed up and did great. So I'm, I'm proud of my team right now. <laughs> All right, let's go. We can now push. I am not going for the, for the tower here. I'm just gonna take every single camp I can so we can make them fall behind. My teammates are doing the Baron. I'm just going to be sitting here and catch one of them so I can delay it. Wait, they knew? Wait, they knew? Wait, what they knew? I retring. I used my retring it. How did they knew? I remember using the red train gear. Or did... What? Ah, that's unfortunate. Now I don't know anymore if I used it or not. I'm pretty sure I did. It was a cooldown. Or I must have been blind. Uh, Alright. Never mind. Feels bad, man. That's very, very, very unfortunate. Alright. So the problem we have right now, right? My team really, really wants to do Baron, okay? And we don't really have any damage because Zack does no damage, Fizz does no damage, Akali does no damage. None of them do any damage on the Baron. Even I don't do any damage. Riven doesn't do much damage on the Baron. So I don't know why they constantly want to go Baron. It just doesn't work on our team comp since we don't have an actual AD carry. We have an Ak Akali AD carry, guys. We don't have any damage output. So that will never work. What they're doing will never work. And that's why I'm not bothered. If I could delay it for them, that would have been great. We could, they could have done it. But right now, it's not possible. Our team comp is really bad for this. Let's go to the uh, dragon right now. My flash will be up in about 90, so... Unfortunately, not with the dragon fight, but whatever. Let's keep on pushing this. We have to push the next wave as well. So they are being forced to clean it up.
We can fight them pretty easily right now. Get look, Zoe is currently there trying to stop the the wave. Okay. All right. Okay, here's the problem. The reason why we didn't win this fight was pretty simple, okay? It was a really good call. Zoe was currently sitting in this lane right here. She was taking the farm. She was pretty far off, actually. And what happened, we did the dragon, and my mid laner, Fizz, ran off. Yes. She was right here, completely outside of the entire team fight, and she was being forced to use her one and only engage ability to get back in that team fight. So she straight jumped into a Renekton, and all of the entire enemy team were able to uh, focus all the way down. There was nobody that could even get close to Draven. So what happens? They all come to me, and I instantly get caught there so because of that despite being ahead despite being able to do so much it was a great call but my teammates really did mess this up completely the team comp was really insanely bad so i'm actually amazed how far we've got but the calls that were made to get that baron were bad they were really bad the dragon call the positioning of the entire my entire team was bad because Fizz wasn't even there. It was supposed to be 5 against 4. But anyways, outside of this, guys, if I had a normal team comp, we would have had an easy win. If they call, follow my calls, it would have been an easy win. Games like this happen. Sometimes you don't get to win. But despite that, guys, hopefully you guys have learned about the this Riven rune setup, which you guys don't really know about at all. Like, you guys don't really use it. Uh, hopefully you guys have learned something about Riven against Renekton. And uh, with that being said, for Runes for World in the description, definitely make sure to check it out. Also, don't forget to follow my Instagram. Don't forget to follow my stream. And with that being said, thank you for being here, guys. And uh, I'll catch you guys up on the next video. Peace.